Rogers. This is my friend. My friend. One more time for Bob Bell Bell for you guys. Let him hear you guys. When I first met Bombo, I was like, you know me? Are you he's gonna kill me for this. When I first met Bombo, he was like, I was like, your name's Bombo? He goes, yeah, until his warrants clear up. It's his joke. How'd it do it? But you guys, we got another friend coming up. He's very special because he's the tallest one in the fucking room. Put your hands together for John Derby! Rocket fucking intro. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I deserve it, but we'll see. So uh, you may have noticed my giant envelope. That's me teasing my clothes, so pay attention. Stick around to the end, it's worth it. Oh yeah. Uh, I wanna start off by giving a shout out. We've got someone special in the house tonight. It's a birthday. Uh oh. Which, which you'll come to find later is my favorite fucking thing in the world. Can we just get a round of applause for a happy birthday for McLaffey? Yeah! Yeah! What are you like, 26? 27, old motherfucker. Well, happy birthday, McLaffey. And that's the last nice thing I'm gonna say about birthdays. Um, I don't have a clever way to say it, so I'm just gonna say it. I hate fucking birthdays. Hate them. I'm glad that everyone has one. That's great. And if you're a girl, celebrate the shit out of your birthday. You don't get much in this world. It sucks to be a girl. So when your birthday slash birth week slash birth month comes up, fucking live it up. Get drunk, fuck a bunch of dudes, whatever you need to do. Enjoy that shit. If you're a grown ass man, <laughs> Keep it to your fucking self. <laughs> Don't allow your sweet girlfriend who could celebrate her birthday get up from the table and go tell some poor fucking waiter, hey, it's this grown ass man's birthday. Do you do something special for him? I won't punch him in the fucking neck. How's that? It's pretty special because I want to. If you're a man, a birthday should simply and nothing more be than the anniversary of your father losing the abortion argument <laughs> and not having the balls to kick your mom down the stairs. How do you think he fucking feels? It's a constant reminder every year that he fucked up. If you're having questions about etiquette, about being a man, when is it okay to celebrate a birthday? Do what I do. Refer to Diddy. <laughs> if Diddy would do it and you can afford to, go ahead. If not, stay the fuck home. <laughs> Diddy's allowed to celebrate a birthday. Why? Because that motherfucker has a life worth celebrating. Nah, that's weird. <laughs> Normal people are going out talking about, oh, free cookies and a wish. Diddy's talking about a champagne slip and slide and forgetting how to fucking wish. He hasn't had to make a wish since he was a child. Wishes are for poor people. <laughs> the evidence in that, there's only pennies and fountains. <laughs> I'm gonna make this shit up. Three, three, three pennies and a fountain. His wish didn't come true. Sorry. Sorry. Now, the problem with the way that I feel towards birthdays, Hallmark doesn't see fit to make a card to express my feelings on the subject. And as you can clearly tell, I'm a fucking self-motivator. I'm a bit of a go-getter. And I have a sweet hand for arts and crafts. We're at the closer. <laughs> so I made my own birthday card for just such a special occasion. 
I'm tall, everything has to be big. <laughs> Obviously. Happy. Now, this is not dedicated to Rob, by the way. This is not. No, you will feel better about it by the end. It's not dedicated to Rob. So it starts off pretty simply. Happy birthday. It's, oh, that's nice. Puts you in a good party mood, doesn't it? Let me try and crush that. So it starts off. Crappy birthday, asshole. This year, work on not being a loser. Instead of what you get for free at a restaurant. Just cause two dumb hillbillies screwed X number of years ago and were too dumb or too drunk to use a rubber or pull out. <laughs> but here's your cake and a candle, you cock. Your wish should be to be anyone who isn't you. Your dad never wanted a kid. You're a mistake. And he regrets the day your pathetic ass rolled out of his sad wife's frowning vagina like a big salty tear that would never dry. Oh, shit. It gets so much worse, I'm sorry. Every birthday you celebrate rubs it in his fucking face like a dog who pissed on the rug. Every candle on your cake represents a tiny torch that set the village he called his life on fucking fire. While you made him watch his dreams and the future he wanted being raped and pillaged in the ashes. Maybe that's just my dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe this is a little therapy for me, sorry. You and the nine million other dudes that share your same birthday are all very special. And by special, I mean retarded. And by retarded, I don't mean an unfortunate genetic mutation, but rather God specifically made you worthless. And many more. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nick Lassie. Thank you, Mikey, Robbie. We'll see you guys. Yeah! One more time for John Derby, you guys. Put your hands together.